Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel, and I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video, um, of course, you see me in the same outfit because you guys know I when I do record, I record two videos at a time or three videos. But today's video is going to be me sharing with you guys the things that I will be doing for the month of March. And I'll also be talking about the things that I didn't complete in February. So, let's start off with February. February was a good month. Um, I, th I think, personally, for me, it was a good month because I did a lot. I'm trying to open up my notes so I can remember what it was that I did. <laughs> um, but um, I actually did quite a lot, which I'm very proud of. Uh, and I started a lot of things for this month, which is really cool. So... If only I could just find that video. That into okay, here's the info. Thank you. So the things that I basically said I was gonna read in the month of February, I did, but I didn't get too far. So the first thing I said I was gonna read was Leave Me Holy Spirit by Stormy Ormonton. You guys, I literally only got to chapter two. I read all of chapter one, but now I'm only up to chapter two. Like, do you guys see that? Two, two, two. But, um, the thing about it is, this first chapter was packed with so much that I really want to take my time and not rush with this book. So, I don't know if I'm going to put this on a back burner for now, because this is a really good book, don't get me wrong, but, um, I'm doing so much this month. So, this book I didn't get to finish, I only got to chapter one. I read through all of chapter one. Anywhere Faith by Heather C. King, I did read, um, we, I read chapters one through... Four. Yeah, I read chapters 1 through 4, and then for this month, I think I'll be reading 5 through 8. 5, 6, 7, and 8, so yeah, 5 through 8 this month, if I'm not mistaken. I need to catch up and read 5, um, five 6, and 7, I think. So, yeah. So, this book I did read. The things that I said I was going to study, Psalms, I actually did pick back up on Psalms, but I only read one chapter. Um, no, I actually read two chapters, honestly. I can show you guys which chapters I read. So I did read chapters 66 and 67. I can't remember if I did 65 in February or not, but um, there it is. I did study those, but I haven't picked back up because 68 is a little long. So you know. For Proverbs, just no. Um, I, I was literally on my way to start it, but I never got a chance to do it. Ephesians, I did complete. If you guys saw my Instagram post, um, it is on my Instagram. Um, I freaking adored Ephesians. And, um, you guys can see all the notes are insane. Six little chapters with so much goodness packed in. Hold on, I'm trying to flip this over. So I definitely, I, I definitely tore Ephesians up. <laughs> Um, Ephesians was so good, and I'm definitely going to be studying it two more times. Um, and then Isaiah, I didn't dive into until the end of the month. But um, I'm only on chapter two right now because after reading chapter one, I realized Isaiah is going to be a doozy and it's going to kick my butt. But um, the first chapter was really good for me. And then in February, I said Armor of God, but I, I, didn't, I didn't get too far, you guys. <laughs> This is probably another one I have to put on the back burner for now. It is a good study, do not get me wrong. I am enjoying it. But um, I only made it to day four and week one. All the other days I did. But I'm probably going to have to put this on the back burner and put it on my shelf until the time being. For the time being. But, oh, and I didn't get a chance to do any verse mapping whatsoever. So. For March, I will not be doing the Armor of God study or reading Stormy Ormondson. I'm going to put these on the back burner for now because I have so much going on in March. So, as far as my studies for March, we have Psalms, Proverbs, and Isaiah, of course. I'm just going to focus on those three things um, using my General the Word Journaling Bible, which is in a New King James, New King James translation. I am hosting a Bible study in the Facebook group. Um, which I am so excited about. So if you haven't joined the Daughter of Increase Facebook group, definitely join that. Um, it'll be linked down below. We are studying the book of Ruth and it is phenomenal. I post live video sessions every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the group. Of course, the live video sessions will be available all, all the time. But, um, 
Yeah, and I'll be studying it out of the ESV translation. This is my Crossway Journaling Bible. So, we'll be diving into that shortly. I also am doing a book club. So, we're going to be diving into the book Fervent by Priscilla Shire, which I cannot wait to get into, you guys. I'm so excited. It's going to be a six-week book club. The Bible study is for four weeks, and it is so awesome. The book club is starting on March 5th, Monday. So, yeah, I'm going to be reading this again. I read it already, but I'm reading it again. I'm also going to be diving into Anywhere Faith still with the Our Daily Bread book club. Still going to be reading this. I think we're going to be reading four chapters or so this year. I mean, this month. Um, then I have a few miniature booklets here that I'm going to be reading. So I have Ruth and Hannah Learning to Walk by Faith from Alice Matthews from the Discovery Series from Our Daily Bread. I have Prayer Changes Things and Let's Pray from Our Daily Bread. Talking with My Father, Jesus Teaches on Prayer by Ray Stedman. Moving Mountains, The Practice of Persistent Prayer by Dr. David M. Crump. And then in his presence, spending time with God from Dennis Fisher. I'm going to be reading those because I will be attending a prayer school. And it sounds weird, but this first lady that I know used to listen to her and has her husband preach a lot. They used to come to my church, have a church literally six minutes from my house. And she's hosting prayer school for the next four Saturdays this month. And I'm going to be going. The first one starts this Saturday, which I'm so excited about. So I figured since I'm reading Fervent, which is about prayer, and then I have all of these little prayer books you know and i'm going to the prayer school i think prayer is going to be like my word for the month so i'm definitely going to be attending that i'm also going to be going to bible study at my church twice a month um this twice twice a month for the march and my church is actually going through the book of romans so i'm going to be catching up on romans um this tuesday coming up they'll be reading romans seven or eight if i'm not mistaken so i have a good seven eight chapters to read on romans so i'm reading a lot um, so those are the books. Again, the things that I'm studying in the Bible are Romans with my church, Ruth with the online Bible study that I'm doing, Psalms on my own with my siblings, Proverbs, and the book of Isaiah. And I can't wait to dive in. I'm probably going to try to definitely do some verse mapping this month, um, so we'll see. But that is everything that I'm studying, reading, and all that great stuff. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you guys will be studying this month and reading. And if you are joining in on the book club that I'm hosting or the Bible study that I'm hosting, let me know in the comment section so we can talk about it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!